Hi guys, back here behind this huge box. That's right, today we're looking at the Aquacraft Rescue 17 remote control boat. Okay, here it is, the Aquacraft Rescue 17 ready to run remote control boat. And the boat comes almost fully assembled right out of the box and you also get this great looking wooden stand to display your boat on while it's not on the water. Now for a final assembly, using one screw you attach the mast to the top of the superstructure and then around out the mask you add a radio and radar antenna and that's pretty much it. So how easy is that for final assembly? Alright, taking a look at the boat on profile you can see it's fairly large it's coming in at 38 inches long or 965 millimeters and the boat weighs 8 pounds or 3.6 kilograms and I did say this boat was ready to run however you will need to supply some batteries to get the boat ready to run first you're going to need four AA batteries for the transmitter that controls the boat and this is supplied with the boat itself this is a tactic TTX 490 radio system it's a 2.4 gigahertz four channel SLT compatible radio and we'll talk about how the it controls the boat when we're on the water with it. Next you're going to need two AA batteries to supply power to the 10 LED light system that's on the boat which I think is pretty cool and it's not remotely operated with the transmitter you have to flip a switch on the inside of the boat. And finally you're going to need a battery to supply power to the boat itself and I'll be using an Electrifly 3 cell 2200 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery with a 30C discharge rate. Okay, next let's talk about some of that great scale detail of the boat and the specs and what it's made of. Now first, the hull of the boat is made out of fiberglass. You have a fiberglass deck and a fiberglass superstructure. And some of the great scale details about the model itself, you have a wire rope deck rail that goes all the way around the boat there itself. And looking at the superstructure, you can see it has a lot of great scale detail such as a ladder system, stairways, stairwells. You have two non-working water cannons on the back just for show and you can see it already comes with some decals on it. However, you also get another sheet of decals to add some more bling to the boat if you want to later on. And of course you know we get that manual that we love reading, right? Okay, some other highlights of the boat is up front you have a working water cannon with a 120 degree radius that should shoot a water stream up to 10 feet. And I can't wait to try that out while we're on the water. Now, let's talk about the internals of the boat real quick. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Let's take the top and open it up. Now the superstructure opens simply like this. Opens up, then you have a wooden rod that you pull out to hold the superstructure open while you're looking at the inside. Okay, on the inside main part of the boat, this is where the LiPo battery will go that drives the boat itself, right here. It's held on with Velcro. And this is the 600 sized brush motor that drives the boat. And you can see it is water cooled. And how that works is there's a pickup on the bottom of the boat that forces water through the plastic tube here when the boat is moving, through the water jacket, around the motor, and then back out the side of the boat right here. Now, let's look at the electronics for the boat, the lighting system. Right there is the two AA batteries that powers the 10 LED lighting system. There is a switch that turns it on and off, and that is one cabin light, and there is the second cabin light. Now I've got to say right now, these lights look pretty awesome, and I wish I could drive the boat at night for you to show you how it works, but for now we're just going to do a day run with it. All right, now we've got that out of the way, let's take a look. At the rear of the boat, you have a rear hatch right here. The rear hatch is held on with rubber bands to hooks inside the boat, one on the rear hatch. And you can take this off if you want to and move it out of the way for easier access. But let's just go ahead and look at the inside here. Here you have a brushed motor connected to a water pump that supplies water to your water cannon. And of course, this is a switch for the boat itself to turn it on or off. Here is your LiPo compatible ESC that supplies power to your 600 size motor. And in the red plastic bag you have the receiver for the boat and it is a Tactic TR400 SLT receiver. Now over here you see you have a large Tactic servo that's connected to the rudder on the boat 
and this is a very large rudder on the bottom of the boat and with this servo and large rudder I don't see where you're going to have any problems turning this boat while it's in the water. Okay, that's pretty much it for the in-house review of the Rescue 17 boat. Now let's get to that best part as always. Let's go try it out. The Rescue 17 fireboat. Look at it go. The fire's this way. <laughs> the fire. All right. Looking pretty good on the water out there. I'm using, I'm not even using full throttle. I'm just kind of going real slow. Got the GoPro camera on there. All right, you got to see that working water cannon, don't you? Of course. Don't spray me, though. Look at it. Isn't that cool? It's putting out the fire. On the bank, yeah. That's neat, isn't it? Okay, the boat's got reverse also. Look at that. Pretty neat. It's got a very big rudder on the back of it, so look at that tight turn. And let's, let's spray some water while we're doing that. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and go put the fire out. Wow, look at that thing go. I might have to play with that one. You might. You know, this Reverse, is a, sprays water. This boat is made for beginners. Can you see the spotlight on it? What do you mean spotlight? It's got spotlights. It's got working LED lights on it. Look at that. I'm the camera girl. I don't see what you see. <laughs> I got, what, a three-inch screen? <laughs> pretty neat. Pretty neat boat. you got 10 LED lights. It's working pretty good. The water cannon is just awesome. Check it out. We gotta get a little closer to the bank so we can put the put the fire out, right? As long as it don't spray upward up here. Cool, huh? I like it. All right. All right, we put that fire out. Let's go put out another one. Pretty smooth running boat, and it looks great on the water. What do you think, Candy? It's nice. How fast does it go? That is wide open. It's not a speed demon. Though. Right. But you can okay. see it's it's really really handling well. Yeah. Like I said, I think I'll get 10 minute uh, run times at least with this ba with the battery. Which you don't need it to go too fast for me because I might just and then run up on the bank or something. So yeah. slow is good for me. Slow is good for you. <laughs> yep. This this boat would be good for a beginner. I don't see any problems with somebody that's never uh, had an RC boat uh, driving the Rescue 17 around the water. That's why I'm going to try it. Okay. I had enough fun with it. Let me go ahead and bring it in. So Candy can have some fun with it. Yeah, so Candy can have some <laughs> fun with it. Big boat. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. They bring it up here. How'd you like that? The Rescue 17. Okay, can you see the lights now? Mm. Great, it's a great running boat. I didn't have any problems with it on the water. I think the run times on the boat are going to be as expected, at least 10 minutes. And uh, I think a novice would have no problems using this boat whatsoever. And the GoPro is still running too, by the way. Eeks. Eeks. <laughs> anyway, I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, review of the Rescue 17 boat by Aquacraft. For more information, be sure to check my video notes after you watch the video, and I'll give direct links to this boat on the Tower Hoppies website, where you can go get yours today. Okay, well that's about it for the review. As always, I'm glad you got to see me. And me. And Candy. And the Rescue 17. And the Rescue 17. <laughs> and we'll see you out on the water some other time. Now it's Candy's turn. That's right. Candy's got the controls. All right, forward is forward. Backwards is backwards on that, the same stick, on the left stick. Go back, pull back on it. I don't want to go backwards. I want to go forward. How do I spray? I want to spray. Just flip the switch by your left finger. Switch by my left finger. Yep. Okay. Okay. She has never driven an RC boat. What do you think, Candy? It's fun. You know, when you went to Six Flags, you had to pay to do this. Do the water cannon now. Check it out. 
There it is. And Candy's driving it. You like it? I do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. <laughs>